Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am super excited about. I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade version of a super popular Starbucks espresso drink, and that is the iced dirty chai latte. It has totally taken off, and I can definitely see why because it is so good, and definitely replaced the pumpkin spice latte that I generally enjoy in the fall. So if you're new here, my name is Taylor and I post weekly videos right here to my YouTube channel and I would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my family here. So just take a moment to pause the video and go hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it and turn on all notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. But let's just get right into today's video. So the first thing you're going to want to do for this drink is to make your espresso and I am making two shots of espresso. You can definitely make three or just one depending on how much espresso you want in this drink but it turned out perfect with two shots. I would be interested to try three shots because I haven't tried that yet but two shots did taste really good. So I can highly recommend two shots for this drink. So yeah, I just ground up my beans because whole beans are just much fresher than the ground ones that you can buy at the store. So I just ground those up and then put them in my espresso maker and started making my espresso. And you can see here at this cup, I still have not gotten the glasses that make the perfect shots. I don't know why, it's been on my to-do list for a long time and I still have not gotten around to doing that. So I'm just using this cup here and you'll see that there's grooves on it and that bottom groove does make the perfect two shot amount. So that is what I've been using until I can finally get around to buying those shot glasses. <laughs> So once your espresso is done, I like to put it in the fridge just to chill off for a little bit. That way it doesn't melt your ice when you pour it over the ice. But if you want to put it in hot, that's totally fine as well. It will just melt your ice when you pour it over. But the next step is just to pour in your chai tea into a blender so that you can blend it all up with the other ingredients. And the perfect kind to get is just the Tazo brand chai tea blend. And you can just get it at Walmart. It's super convenient. It's already mixed for you. And I just poured about a third of a cup of that tea into the blender along with the two shots of espresso. And then I added my two thirds cup of milk and I didn't happen to have milk on hand so I just subbed it for half and half which worked perfectly. And then for the sweetener, I just used three tablespoons of this maple syrup. It blended super well, but if you like another sweetener, you could definitely sub that out and use whatever you normally use. And this is definitely optional but it did taste really good. I just added a couple of pinches of pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon into this mixture and it tasted so good. And then you're just going to want to blend it up until it's all nice and blended and kind of frothy. And now it's time to pour it over your ice to get it all nice and cold. Thank you. 
And now moving on, I just took that same blender and rinsed it out so I could use it for my cold foam that would go on top. And this is pumpkin cream cold foam, so we are adding two teaspoons of pumpkin puree. And now I'm just adding a couple more pinches of pumpkin spice and cinnamon into this mixture as well. And then a quarter cup of milk. And you're just going to blend it up just like you did with the espresso. And now it is time to froth the cold foam. And because I have the steam wand on my espresso maker, I haven't purchased one of those electric hand milk frothers yet. So I am just using our stand mixer with a whisk. But if you have a milk frother, you can definitely use that instead. And you're just going to pour that directly on top and this drink is totally done. You can add some whipped cream on top like I did, but that's totally optional. It tastes just as good without it and that is how Starbucks serves it. They don't put the whipped cream on top and it tastes super yummy either way. And then I just sprinkled a little more cinnamon on top. Look how yummy this looks, you guys. This is literally so, so good. You guys have to try this. And if you do, definitely leave a comment below or tag me on Instagram letting me know how you like it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't already, you have to make this and try this drink. It is so good and you definitely will not be disappointed. Being able to make it from home saves so much money and it's really convenient to be able to just make it straight from home because when you get that craving, you can't always get to a Starbucks. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and that it can save you a lot of trips to Starbucks. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell beside it and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up that goes to really help my channel and I definitely appreciate it but I'm going to end the video here so be thankful and rejoice in the Lord bye guys